Hello friends and welcome to Technosage. So this video is actually the continuation of the video on VMware ESXi installation. In that video we have talked about how we can install the VMware ESXi uh, step by step and in this video we will talk about how we can do the basic configuration the network configuration of VMware ESXi so that we can use our vSphere client to access the ESXi to create our virtual machines on it. So as you can see my screen which shows the HP ProLint blade where I have opened up the remote console and on which I have installed the ESXi the VMware ESXi how to install the VMware ESXi you can go to the description box where I have kept the link on how we can install the VMware ESXi now I'll just expand my console window and you can see that to go to the settings like if you do do the basic configuration settings you need to press the F2 here so now when I press the F2 it asks me for the login name and the password so the login name is root by default I'll give the password that I have set during the installation so now I have given the password and uh, the system customization page opened up where uh, if I need to configure the password I can set it up and there are a lot of information here a uh, lot of options here I need to directly go to the configure management network so under the configure net management network you can see that we need to set the host name local uh, the host name the IP4 address the IP6 address and all the configuration the network configuration we need to do in this management so I'll click on the configure management network so now you can see the first option is network adapters VLAN is optional so first I'll check for the network adapter yeah so it says that the VMN IC0 is connected I need not to do any change here I will just press escape for cancellation and uh, I'll go to the IP6 configuration first because I need to do the IP4 configuration not the IP6 so by default IP6 is enabled I need to disable the setting so I'll select the space here disable the IP6 and I'll click enter here and it is saying that it requires a restart so I'm not restarting uh, the server now I'll first do the configuration for the IP4 so it says disable the IP4 configuration for management network that is the first option obviously I'm not selecting this second one is the dynamic IP4 address and network configuration that means the dynamically IP4 address will be assigned so no I no, don't want to use dynamic IP I need to set the static IP4 so dynamic IP means it can change um, every time so it comes from the DH, DHCP server automatically so I'll just select the static uh, IP4 address and I'll give the network configurations according to my own cell I'll go for the IP4 uh, address here I'll clear up this chunk value and I'll enter the IP that I want to set for uh, my ESXi now in the next option in the next tab I need to select the subnet mask okay so now it is selected now I will go to the default gateway option yeah so now I will press uh, enter okay so now I have done the IP4 configuration settings here now I will check the DNS configurations
so under the dns configurations we need to set the host name uh, we need to change the dns server like dns server 1 dns server 2 so the first option is obtain dns server addresses and a, and a host name automatically no uh, second option was use the following dns server address and host name i'll select this option and now i need to set the primary dns server I'll now select the alternate DNS server. And now I will go to the hostname selection. And I will hit on enter. That means for OK. So now the host name is also selected, DNS name is also selected. I'll go and check the DNS suffixes also, custom DNS suffix. So I'll give the suffix here and I will hit enter. So now all my entries are done. I will click on enter for change. Uh, I'll click on escape for exit. And it is asking me, do you want to apply the changes and reboot the host? I'll click on Y. Uh, which says yes I have clicked on Y and now the system will go to restart the restart is, is in progress so once the system comes up it will directly take these IPs uh, these network configurations that I have set for my VMware ESXi so now I can use these uh, IP and can access it through my uh, vSpec client and I can use this uh, VMware ESXi to create my virtual machines so this is it from this video i hope you like this video please do let us know in the comment section like share and subscribe our video thank you so much for watching guys